Hey guys, Connor here from CameraStore.com. Today we have a little interesting treat for you. This is an 88-year-old TLR, the Voigtlander Superb. Uh, this is a really cool old camera with some pretty interesting features that you don't normally see on cameras of this age. So we're going to be taking a look at it today. It's more of a collector's camera than a user's camera most of the time, but we're going to put a roll through it and see what we get. So yeah, the Voigtlander is a TLR, and that stands for Twin Lens Reflex, because it's got two lenses here that are more or less the same. Uh, this one has two 75mm f3.5 lenses. The taking lens is a, a Scopar Anastigmat, and the viewing lens is just a normal Anastigmat Helimar lens. So, yeah, you view through this one, and then the photo's taken through this one into film in the back here. So one interesting feature with the Voigtlander Superb is you'll see the shutter speeds are actually written in reverse, and that's because there's a mirror right here that reflects the shutter speeds up towards the user so you don't have to take the camera away from your eye when you're looking through the waist level finder. So then I'll reset the frame counter. So the Voigtlander Superb doesn't have its own cold shoe or accessory shoe uh, to attach a light meter or something like that. So we're going to be using the Dumo Meter D anyway. I'm just going to carry it around. It's a great little shoe mounted light meter. Uh, I use it all the time. We have them at camerastore.com, so a link below if you want to pick one up. That magnifier is so necessary. There's a tiny magnifier, as with most TLRs. but. It's super necessary for getting good focus. It is, it's really nice to have the shutter speed pointing up at you. So one great thing about the Voigtlander Superb is that you actually see there's a bubble level here in the top right of the viewfinder, and that's just super helpful for, for keeping the camera level, especially if you've never used a waist level finder. Looking through them can be kind of disorienting if you're not used to it, uh, but with a, with a bubble level you're able to keep it pretty flat and get nice, even pictures. So we're here taking pictures of some flowers and showing off the parallax correction on the Voigtlander Superb. It's a pretty unique feature, especially for a TLR of this age. Because you're not seeing directly through the taking lens with a TLR, the closer you focus, you get some issues with the framing. So what you're seeing isn't what it will look like on the actual photo. But this camera tilts the lens very slightly down, and you can see that um, when you focus closely to correct for that. So what you're seeing is a pretty good representation of what will actually show up in the frame. It is a really nice finder though. I mean, it's not sharp <laughs> or very bright, but it's a hundred years old, so I'll take what I can get. So as I said, the Voigtlander Superb is an 88-year-old TLR. Um, this camera was released in 1933 originally. That's six years after the original Rolleiflex, but it's kind of unfair to call this a Rolleiflex copy because the Rolleiflex was based on a stereo camera, which was based on a Voigtlander stereo camera. So there was a lot of looking at other people's notes in Germany at the time um, in terms of camera design. So a lot of sharing being done. But yeah, this is a super unique TLR. Oh, is she gonna jump? Perfect. So the advanced mechanism on the Voigtlander Superb is actually pretty interesting. It's um, a lever that you pull out, and then when you pull it back in, it advances the film. And you have to do that four to six times to get from one frame to the next. Uh, and it's totally unconnected to the shutter, so it's pretty easy to forget 
and end up double or triple exposing your film. But one thing you could do with the advance is do double exposures. So if you want to deliberately do double exposures, this camera is a great one for that. Older Compure shutters and leaf shutters in general, uh, if you have them cocked, you won't be able to advance to the fastest speed. So for this one, it's 1 to 50th. Uh, that's just because there's like an extra spring in there that allows the shutter to go to that fastest speed. And once it's cocked, that spring is too tight and won't be able to activate. So that's been the Voigtlander Superb. It's a super quirky, very old TLR with some very interesting features. Uh, I've been Connor from camerastore.com. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like us to cover next. Cameras, film, photography, anything really. And we'll get on it. Thanks for watching.